So as you guys know, the Simpsons have made some bold predictions over the years, and I've seen some crazy ones out there online about XRP hitting $589. So in this video, we're going to be talking about if that will happen, when will it happen, is that even real, and what is the best cryptocurrency to buy now in 2024? Before we see the altcoin market go absolutely parabolic over the next one to two years, we're going to be diving into the XRP price chart comparing to Bitcoin's dominance and what we need to spot on the charts for XRP to have another massive breakout. We're discussing Bitcoin's stock to flow model and what happened every single time before Bitcoin's halving that is happening like clockwork right now. When we will see that money flow into large caps, mid caps, and low cap projects, and also some altcoin gems to keep on your radar over the next few months that are just at the tip of the iceberg right now that will create life-changing gains for retail investors all around the world. So if you're feeling bullish, comment 777. If you're feeling blessed, comment 777. If you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree, you know what to do. Confirm it by taking the like button, grabbing your putter, and give it a tibbity taparoo. Sink the putt. We're doing it for grandma because we're going to beat the SEC and we're buying our house back with cryptocurrencies. Let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So with the market cap of the whole industry sitting at $2.27 trillion, we are just starting to heat up. Bitcoin's sitting above 61K right now. You know, Solana cracking $128, up 23% over the past seven days. XRP up 10% over the past seven days, so not doing too bad. People ask us all the time, what other projects are we bullish on that we believe will do well during this entire bull run. So I'm going to be sharing those with you in this video. And a quick disclaimer, don't buy, don't sell any of these projects. This is all for educational purposes only. And by liking this video and commenting 777 below, you're confirming that you're aware of the risk. You understand that all cryptocurrencies could go to zero and you could lose all of your money. In fact, most people lose all of their money in crypto because they don't pay attention to these videos and they trade with emotion rather than pure logic that we talk about on the charts. But if you're okay with the risks and you understand that these videos are for educational purposes only, then consider subscribing to the channel. So the rotation of money coming into XRP by the end of this bull run is usually what's happened every single bull run prior and XRP rallies in just a matter of days. And so when will XRP rally next? And does it make sense to be you know, backing up the truck for XRP right now? Or does it make sense to be playing the field, so to speak, across other altcoins that have that you know, 50x or 100x potential. So I'm going to be explaining that over the course of this video because with XRP sitting at 60 cents right now, you know, and Simpsons making these crazy outlandish predictions, um, we found out that that was fake. You know, we talked about that in a previous video, although, you know, people are pushing XRP buyback predictions to like tens of thousands of dollars. Some people even saying upwards of $100,000 per XRP, which would be insane for the market cap. But we need to talk about facts we need to talk about the charts and we need to talk about what actually takes place in this market so you can have a grounded, realistic approach to what's going to happen next. And so if we look at the Bitcoin price chart versus the total altcoin market cap, last bull run, Bitcoin only did a 16x, whereas the entire altcoin market did over a 40x. So it's very clear that it makes more sense to be holding altcoins rather than Bitcoin during a bull run. Because we're in a bull run right now, the best altcoins to hold are the ones that have bottomed out on the charts after they've launched versus the altcoins that have already rallied, you know, five, 10, 25, or even a 50X from their lows when everyone has already bought and the FOMO is at an all time high. For example, if we compare, you know, a project like GRP to BTC, you can see that GRP has bottomed out and has been holding a strong support between $13 to $17, whereas Bitcoin has already been on the move. So you're not going to create life changing wealth buying Bitcoin when everyone else is FOMOing in. What I like to look for is low market cap projects that have great utility, great tech teams, tokenomics, roadmaps, and fundamentals to drive mass adoption. And since you guys are always reaching out and asking for low cap gems, if we look at GRP, it's the first of its kind layer one ecosystem that combines two proprietary solutions, which are DAG and artificial intelligence to simplify the creation of smart contracts by introducing AI based coding for decentralized applications. And the GRP network will grow significantly with each new advanced node that's connected to it, which basically allows for them to reach up to 700,000 transactions per second, which is faster than projects like XRP. 
And also GRP just recently secured a $35 million funding deal from a company called LDA Capital, which is the company that invested in SingularityNet, one of the largest AI projects in the world. And GRP is planning to use that capital to amplify their marketing efforts and get listed on top tier exchanges, along with maintaining a strong presence at key crypto events. So that's why we decided to partner with GRP to sponsor today's video. And they wanted to do a thousand dollar giveaway worth of GRP tokens to you guys. And all you have to do to be entered into win is like this video, comment 777 below and create your free account using the link in the description below this video. And additionally, GRP has incorporated an incentive system to reward you for participating in their network, providing you with the ability to earn rewards. And it's really easy for you to benefit. All you got to do right now is click the link below this video, create your free account and choose which currency you want to convert to GRP. And if you choose a thousand GRP or more, they will give you up to a 20% bonus, but you don't have to purchase anything to participate in the thousand dollar giveaway. All you need to do is like this video, comment 777 below and create your free account through the link in the description below. Now, considering that the global liquidity is rotating into the entire crypto industry with companies like BlackRock giving Bitcoin the green light, the altcoin market is set up to have one of the biggest bull runs in history and a ton of newer low market cap projects are going to create life changing gains for you to capitalize on so you can scale your portfolio to accumulate more large cap projects like XRP. This is the path to alt season. Phase one has always been Bitcoin. Bitcoin's always the leader. And with BlackRock giving green Bitcoin the green light, it just goes to show that Bitcoin is can, going to continue to do very, very well over the next several decades. And so when we talk about Bitcoin in the days, in the past few days, what's happened, I mean, Bitcoin's rallied up over 52%, printing one of the largest monthly green candles of all time, which is absolutely insane. So when money flows into Bitcoin first, you know, Bitcoin sees periods of consolidation, corrections and sell offs, then that money trickles into other projects. And so the next project that that is going to flow into, and one of the largest trades in the space that is going to happen next that the institutions and the smart retail like you watching this channel are going to front run is Ethereum. When Ethereum starts to outperform Bitcoin, we start to see talks of the flipping happening, you know, Ethereum's market cap rallying past Bitcoin. As you can see right now, Ethereum is just off of this breakout of about $2,000. It's at 3,500, you know, whereas Bitcoin is almost at the all-time high. Ethereum is still off from the all-time high, another 40 plus percent, whereas Bitcoin is under 10% away from the all-time high. The real trade right now that institutions are getting ready for is Ethereum. And so if we trace up Ethereum's chart from the past, you guys can see back here around like August to October of 2022, when Ethereum broke the neckline from July of 2019, this was a double bottom trend reversal. You could see bottom number one back in the low of you know December of 2018. You could see bottom number two for the black swan event for COVID. And then you could also see the neckline for DeFi summer right here where we form this W shape double bottom and we come up back to the neckline. When we broke the neckline, we back tested it as support and held this for a few months. And then we blasted off to the beaches of the moon for Ethereum. Now we saw something similar play out. Obviously there were some minor differences in the chart because we didn't see a black swan event like COVID happen, but we saw the low in June of 2022. We come up to this neckline of about $2,000 in August of 2022. We came back down for a double bottom in November of 2022, and then we started trending upwards to the neckline. Now, we broke the neckline at the end of November, the tail end of 2023, and we were hovering at that neckline for an extended period of time. And so with this breakout for Ethereum happening right now, this is comparable to what happened back in November of 2020 before Ethereum went absolutely parabolic. You know, Ethereum came back up to the complacency stage bounce that you can see right here back in uh, June of 2018 to retest this and it just blasted past this. You know, Ethereum faced a little bit of resistance at the all time high, but we didn't see a deep pullback. We just saw Ethereum continuously grind upwards and make a new high upwards of $4,000. And then that's when we saw a deeper correction. So for people thinking that they're going to be able to, you know, sell now and buy back in cheaper, that might not be the case because last, last bull run, we didn't see Ethereum pull back until 4K and then it dropped 60%, but it didn't come back down to the all-time high. And then during that double top for Bitcoin, Ethereum rallied another 181% after that dip. So all in all, if we were to measure from this neckline to the all-time high, Ethereum performed a 12X. And so if we were to measure from the neckline right now for Ethereum to go to $10,000, that's only a 4X. For Ethereum to do a 10X, it would need to go to 23 
thousand dollars. So I know you guys came to this video for XRP, but we need to talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum first, because what happens next is money starts to trickle into large caps when we see large buyups happening. And we saw that happen with Solana. We saw that happen, you know, with Cardano, with like Dogecoin, with, you know, Avalanche, lots of other big projects. And then phase three of the bull run is large caps start to run. And Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin and large caps are going parabolic where Ethereum is just starting to take off. And where the real money is made is when we go into phase four. Regardless of market cap, some altcoins with strong fundamentals are having pumps. And when we are in full phase four of the bull run, large caps have gone fully vertical and we're starting to see blow off tops, mid caps, low caps, and micro caps all tend to pump around the same time. After the majority of gains have already been made into large caps because then that money flows into the micro caps. And it seems that every coin will be going parabolic regardless of fundamentals. Meme coins are everywhere. Everyone is super excited and you feel the mania. You feel the euphoria in the air. But one of those large caps that that money will flow into eventually, in my opinion, is XRP. Now we need to dissect when that is most likely to take place. So pay close attention to this part of the video because I'm going to be showing you guys some comparison on the chart to Bitcoin's market cycle. Because if we look at these vertical yellow dash lines right here, you guys can see when Bitcoin reached an all-time high in December of 2017, right after that, just a few days later, XRP, you know, rallied up to the 1st of January. So Bitcoin topped out and was starting to sell off. And then 21 days later, in less than a month, XRP did a 12X up from, you know, 20 something, 30 cents to over $3 in just 21 days. Then we were in a full-fledged bear market from December of 2017 to December of 2018 for Bitcoin. Same thing happened for XRP. We saw a massive sell-off. And then XRP even trended further down to March of 2020, where that was the low for XRP, whereas March of 2020's black swan event for Bitcoin didn't quite bring it back down to the low of December of 2018. However, that was the last bottom for both Bitcoin and XRP before we started the bull market trend. We came back up to this neckline of roughly $13,000. And when Bitcoin broke the neckline in October of 2020, Bitcoin rallied upwards of $57,000 by February of 2021, where XRP was staying stuck below 80 cents due to this lawsuit. Then when Bitcoin finally topped out in April of 2021, in a matter of seven days, XRP rallied over 200% to nearly $2. So just like the prior bull run in December of 2017, where 21 days after Bitcoin topped out, XRP rallied. The same thing happened for XRP by April of 2021, except it only took seven days. So if we look at what's happened recently with Bitcoin breaking this neckline of roughly $30,000 back in October of 2023, and XRP remaining below 70 cents, very similar to what happened back here from November of 2020, until April of 2021, the same thing is happening again. So this is what we need to pay attention to. The majority of the liquidity in the large caps right now is going to be focused on Ethereum. And when we will see XRP rally is going to be in the later stage of the bull run based on this so far. Because when we look at Bitcoin's stock to flow model, we're not even to the halving yet. We have until about May 4th. And as you can see with Bitcoin breaking the stock to flow line of about $50,600-ish, pushing upwards of 60 k during the last bull run, when we went from blue to dark purple, we saw a rally take place for Bitcoin upwards of $10,000. And then we saw the black swan event take place before the halving. The bull run before then, when Bitcoin went from blue to dark purple, we saw a rally up above the stock to flow line upwards of $767. And then we saw a sell off going into the halving. The bull run before then, when we went from blue to dark purple in 2012, we saw a rally up for Bitcoin upwards of $13. Can you guys imagine buying Bitcoin at $13? Then we saw a sell-off and a consolidation going into the halving. So because we're still not to the halving yet, and we're rallying above the stock to flow line, if we compare it to the past few bull runs, you guys can see that every single time we've saw a sell-off before the halving. Now, every bull run is not identical, but the past rhymes. In some bull runs, the sell-off has happened a lot closer to the halving, whereas back in 2012, you guys can see it happened a lot further away from the halving. So if we see any type of sell-off for Bitcoin going into the halving, that most likely will affect a lot of the large caps, like XRP, and XRP could see a sell-off down to about 44 cents, which I know is not what you want to hear because with amazing news happening in all these massive partnerships, like Ripple partnering with Axelar Foundation to enhance the interoperability of the XRP ledger, which can now securely and efficiently move across 55 connected blockchains, this news is barely moving XRP's price to 60 cents because XRP doesn't move on the news alone. XRP moves based on Bitcoin. So arguably, you could ignore all of the news, everything that's happening in the media, and you could subscribe to the channel and pay attention to what's happening on the charts because the charts tell all. And one of the most important charts 
that gives you telltale signs of when XRP is most likely to have a massive breakout is XRP to the Bitcoin price chart. This shows when XRP is underperforming or overperforming in comparison to Bitcoin. So when the chart is going down, Bitcoin is performing better, XRP is performing worse, and eventually we see reversals take place. So what we need to look at for when a reversal will take place is a key support level that XRP has reached several times in the past. For example, going back to June of 2014, you know, XRP was underperforming in comparison to Bitcoin, and then XRP started overperforming Bitcoin. Then we saw another sell-off back down to the support line by February of 2017. Bitcoin was outperforming XRP, Bitcoin was rallying, XRP was underperforming. And then as you guys know, that 2017 bull run where XRP rallied over 60,000%, then we saw the price chart go absolutely parabolic compared to Bitcoin and XRP started outperforming Bitcoin. During the bear market, we saw another sell-off as well too. Leading into December of 2020, the lawsuit hit. XRP was underperforming in comparison to Bitcoin. Bitcoin was breaking all-time highs. XRP bounced off of this support again in comparison to Bitcoin and started trending upwards. And as you guys can see, just recently, XRP has been trending downward. That's why everyone is pissed off. At every single circle that you can see right here, people were the most fearful for XRP. That's a sign of what's about to happen next. So when the fear is the loudest, when the negativity is the loudest, that is the best possible time to add XRP to your radar and consider watching this chart right here because we are just probably like 15 to 20% if I were to measure this right here away from this upward trending support. You know, yep, we're about 15%. We were 20% away a few days ago. And so you guys want to watch this chart, XRP to Bitcoin going into the halving because when we come back down to this upward trending support line right here, the likelihood of a reversal for XRP to start outperforming Bitcoin increases the further down that we go. Now, there are no guarantees here, but if it's happened every single time in the past, the likelihood of it happening again is very, very high. Now, what we also need to see is we also need to see Bitcoin's dominance drop. Now, here's another chart that we need to look at, which compares Bitcoin's dominance to the XRP to the US dollar price chart when Bitcoin's dominance was low and when Bitcoin's dominance was high. Now, for those of you that are new to the market, what this simply means is when Bitcoin's dominance is has a high percentage, Bitcoin holds a majority of the market cap of the entire industry. So let's just say if the market cap of the industry is $1 trillion and Bitcoin's dominance is 73%, that means Bitcoin would hold $730 billion of $1 trillion, which is 73%. If Bitcoin's dominance is, you know, like 30% of $1 trillion, then Bitcoin would hold $300 billion. And so there's an ebb and a flow to the market where just like I showed you right here, when the money starts to flow from Bitcoin into Ethereum, large caps, and eventually altcoins that are mid cap, low caps, and micro caps, Bitcoin's dominance falls. So during that 2017 bull run, when Bitcoin's dominance dropped all the way down to 35%, well, guess what happened? When Bitcoin's dominance was down here, XRP started to rally upwards of $3. So this is the first sign that when Bitcoin's dominance is low, XRP does very, very well. Now we saw Bitcoin's dominance rally from 35% upwards of 73% by December of 2020. And as you can see, XRP's price was all the way down here at 16 cents. So this could be considered a coincidence, you know, random timing or, you know, the matrix level timing or God math, whatever you want to call it. But the lawsuit hit right when Bitcoin's dominance was at a high. So could this have been orchestrated by the elite? You guys let me know your thoughts. Something about it feels very, very weird on how the SEC targeted XRP and Ripple of all currencies, but we just look at the charts and the charts don't lie because when Bitcoin's dominance was upwards of 73%, XRP's price was all the way down to 18 cents. So when the Bitcoin's dominance is high, XRP's price is low. Then what happened after the lawsuit? Well, overseas exchange volume, you know, coming from the, you know, Japan region, Middle East region, Dubai, you know, other countries that could trade XRP. Well, XRP's price rallied all the way upwards of nearly $2 and performed over a 10x while they were still going through the lawsuit. So can you guys imagine what's about to happen in the later stage of this bull run when Bitcoin's dominance dropped, knowing that XRP has the legal clarity on the secondary market? Because from January of 2021 until May of 2021, Bitcoin's dominance 
dropped again. It dropped down to 38%, and that's when XRP peaked out. Now, Bitcoin's dominance traded sideways, and we were in a bear market, and so Bitcoin's dominance remained low while XRP's price was going down. What that simply means is money can flow out of Bitcoin, and instead of going into altcoins like XRP, it goes into stable coins or the US dollar. So money just flows out of the industry as a whole. That's why we saw Bitcoin's dominance remain below 48%, while XRP's price was dropping because that money and that liquidity wasn't flowing into XRP. It was flowing into USDC and USDT and the US dollar. Now, Bitcoin's dominance right now has been running up since December of 2022. And right now we're at 54%. So eventually what will happen here is Bitcoin's dominance will top out and we will see that rotation, like I talked about, take place into Ethereum, other large caps, then mid and micro cap projects. So what I'm looking for to give me a sign that money is getting ready to flow into XRP is for Bitcoin's dominance to peak out, you know, upwards of 57, 58% as we rally up past the all-time high. We need to see Bitcoin past the all-time high and rally, you know, upwards of 70, 80, 90, yes, even $100,000 while XRP trades sideways or pisses everyone off and trades further to the downside to like 44 cents. You know, I would hope XRP just slowly trends upwards, but it's not going to do anything too crazy until Bitcoin's dominance starts dropping and XRP to the Bitcoin price chart bottoms out at this upward trending support line that you can see in yellow right here. And then when we see Bitcoin's dominance starting to drop to 39, potentially even 36 or 35% down within this yellow box right here, that's when I would expect XRP to start seeing some massive liquidity flow into it, either towards the tail end of 2024 or in 2025. And so right now, while XRP's price stays suppressed and we see Bitcoin rallying up, what we want to look for is other altcoin projects that are gearing up for a massive breakout. Because on the left-hand side of the screen, you guys can see the total two, which is the crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin, so Ethereum and every single other altcoin. And as you can see, when we broke out, we went parabolic for the altcoin market. And we're breaking out right now from the disbelief stage. And just like I talked about, it's playing out like clockwork. We're going into the hope stage where people are starting to believe that a recovery is possible, but retail won't really start FOMOing into the market until we get closer to the all-time high, which is about $1.7 trillion. Once we start to pass the all-time high, people are not ready for how ridiculously parabolic this market can go over the next one to two years. And so when we see the total altcoin market cap getting closer to like $3 trillion, $4 trillion, $5 trillion, then we will see industries like artificial intelligence, gaming, and other projects on Ethereum's ecosystem, Solana's ecosystem start to rally. Because on coin market cap, you guys can see these little fire emojis right here. This shows you what's hot right now and this is what will most likely be hot for the rest of this bull run and sure enough artificial intelligence is right here i made a video about that yesterday today we're going to talk a little bit about gaming as well too because gaming and ai are going to be two of the main leaders of this bull run and you can see the top gaming tokens by market capitalization right now with the total market cap of the gaming industry only at 27 billion dollars so if the entire altcoin market cap starts rallying upwards of two three four even $5 trillion. Can you guys imagine how much money is going to flow into AI and gaming, knowing that it's only at $27 billion right now? To put that into perspective right now, if we take 27 billion and we divide that by the entire market cap of the industry of 2.26 trillion, the gaming sector of crypto only holds about 0.012%, so less than 2% of the entire market cap of the whole crypto industry. So when the altcoin market breaks the all-time high, we will see money rotate out of Bitcoin, out of Ethereum, and start funneling into the crypto gaming sector, and you have to be ready. So as you can see right here, the number one project in the gaming sector right now is IMX, then you have Beam, uh, EGLD, Sand, and other projects. So IMX is at a 4.6 billion dollar market cap. If we go to their website, IMX have partnered with a massive amount of companies such as Wagme Games that currently has a $48 million market cap, Guild of Guardians that currently has a $130 million market cap, Gods Unchained, which has a $109 million market cap, and one of their biggest projects, Alluvium, which currently has a $442 million market cap, and during the peak of the last bull run was over $1 billion with an all-time high of $1,800. And you can see we're all the way down at $117, just barely Barely off of the low of $38 back from October of 2023. And so the next project that is an official partner of IMX is called 
Land Rocker. And I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check this out. And this project they're saying has 100x potential. They're launching at a $1.5 million initial market cap with other GameFi competitors ranging between 30 and $150 million that IMX has partnered with. They've been getting a massive amount of media attention in publications like Crypto News, MSN, NFT News, among many others. The total supply of LRT will be 10 billion tokens and they're going to be listing at 0.001. So you guys can go through the link in the description below, check out the road map. You can see currently they're in round six right now, and they're going to be listed on the Matic network. Now, in order to bridge to Matic, it's very, very simple. You simply go below this video, click the link that you see in the description. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. You just click enter. You guys can watch the trailer of the game right here, but what you want to do is click sign up, create your free account. You'll connect your wallet, and then you'll choose how much LRT you want in Matic, USDC, USDT, or DAI. So because they are on the Matic network, you will need to understand how to bridge Ethereum over to Matic. And so I'll also leave a Polygon tutorial from uh, MoneyZG that I think is very, very good. It's very, very detailed that you guys can check out in the description below this video. So scroll down in the description, you guys will see the links below. But some of the main reasons why Landrocker has the potential to do very, very well this bull run is number one, they're an official partner with IMX, which have launched massive projects in the past. IMX is the number one gaming project right now on coin market cap with a 4.6 billion dollar market cap they have a massive community they have over 371,000 followers on twitter and when land rocker launches you know we could see them start tweeting about it to their audience which gains it even more traction as you guys can see you know they're tweeting about gods unchained guild of guardians they retweeted tweeting about pixelmon so when the launch starts to heat up then imx might start giving it more attention for example the land rocker pro game with the limited planets, the 3D version is coming. More features of the light game for the browser version in their marketplace. They're having some big prize campaigns with Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're under negotiations with different launchpad partnerships. They're working on finalizing integration with Immutable. And virtually nobody's seen this yet. So through the link below, you guys can play the game. They have the light version and the pro version is coming soon. And you can also see that it says staking coming soon. Their swap is coming soon. Right now they're showing you the visual of the marketplace of what it's going to look like for their in-game assets, where the LRT token is going to be used in game, where they're going to have a play to win and also a play to earn model. And if you guys remember during the last bull run, play to earn gaming was one of the most popular trends. And it's going to be just as popular, if not more popular for this bull run. And so with them launching at only a 1.5, million dollar initial market cap this could be a low cap 100x gem and their parent company is called infinite eight they have 22 years of experience 65 plus clients 11 plus million users and they're expanded in different sectors like real estate design education and trading retail and e-commerce gaming sports and entertainment financial services media industry and technology they've worked with different clients like pringles you know facebook TikTok, the government of dubai t-mobile amazon web services among many other massive companies if we click on portfolio you can see land rocker is number one then we could see all these other companies that they've worked on or they've invested in so this isn't just a small company or a small team here infinite eight has a staff of about 150 members. So they are the parent company of Land Rocker. And if you guys go and check out their white paper, they have all the details for you to look at right there. The marketplace, the economy, tokenomics, and their entire roadmap is listed up so you can see their game plan for 2024. Well, right now they're organizing their DEX launch pads to be listed. In quarter two of this year, they're gonna be launching Land Rocker Pro. So with a $1.5 million initial market cap launch, looking at other projects that have partnered up with IMAX, like Gods Unchained did $106 million market cap, Guilds of Guardians currently has 131 million. Wagme Games currently 48 million. Alluvium currently 436 million. And if this bull run cycle plays out the last one, we could be going absolutely parabolic over the next one to two years for the entire altcoin industry. This is definitely a project to keep on your radar. So the link will be in the description below. Check it out. And you guys will see the tutorial for the Polygon Bridge. That's very, very helpful. So if you guys found value out of this video, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and go to bullrunners.com where you'll discover our top altcoin picks first, and you'll get early bird access to our crypto education platform when that's released. You don't need any previous crypto trading experience. All you need to do is click the button on the page, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter where we give you the best information to help you prepare for the worst that's yet to come in this economy because the spending power of the dollar is going to continue to go down in value. That's a fact. Based on inflation, blockchain technology, distributed ledger technology, and cryptocurrencies are going up in interest. That's the truth. And together, you know where we're going. We're going camping on the beaches of the moon. So I will see you guys on the next video. I will see you on bullrunners.com. As always, you know what to do. Stay bullish.